Ella, I heard you got another pay raise. Finally, some good news. You're starting to pull your weight around here. Keep up the good work, my little money-making machine, and maybe you'll be worthy of being a member of this family. I knew you had it in you. <laughs> um, how did you know about my pay raise? Who told you? What's so surprising? You know I have eyes and ears everywhere in this city, right? Don't even think about trying to hide anything from me. I know each and every move you make, and I'm always watching. You're not as clever as you think you are. I'm your father, after all. You should really stop stalking my personal life. Stalking? I'm your father, and I have a right to know what's going on in your life. So don't blame me for being attentive and considerate. Enough of this nonsense. I think it's time we think about how to put that extra money you earn every month into good use. Listen, I've been doing some research and I found a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity that could make us rich overnight. I just need you to send me some money to invest and I guarantee we'll triple our investment in no time. And what's the amazing investment opportunity you're talking about? I'm dying to hear it. Is it the lottery? Or maybe a casino downtown? What are you insinuating? I haven't gambled in years. I'm a respectable businessman and investor now. And even if I do gamble occasionally, it's just for fun. I don't bet more than I can afford to lose. I'm not some irresponsible gambler who's going to lose everything. Besides, who are you to judge me? You're my daughter, so you have no right to question my authority. I'm the one who makes the rules in this household, and you have to respect me. Look, this is no time for your childish attitude. I need money to invest in this opportunity, and I don't care if it even puts a dent in your savings. This is our one and only chance to make it big. Oh, what's it this time? Another get-rich-quick scheme? I'm sure it'll be just as successful as your last ones. You're a fool if you think you're going to make a fortune by investing in something that promises high returns with little or no risk. You've lost a fortune before, and you're going to lose it again if you're not careful. How dare you lecture me? I've been investing for years, and I know what I'm doing. Your words hurt my pride as a true investor, and I won't forget this. Listen, I've looked into it, and it's a sure thing. This is it! This is the big one! We are going to make millions of dollars and be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Can you imagine it? No more cramped and dilapidated apartment. We'll be living in a luxury mansion, enjoying the high life. You'll be thanking me for the rest of your life. All you have to do is give me some money so I can start investing. Hold on. I need more information before I can give you any money. What kind of investment are you talking about? I can't just hand over my hard-earned cash without knowing what it's going towards. Really now? Are you going to interrogate me like a police officer now? What I'm investing in is none of your concern. Just do as I say and send me the money. No questions asked. After all, I'm the homeowner and I get to make all the important decisions in this house, including how to use our money wisely. I know we'll kick ourselves for the rest of our lives if we don't take this chance. Well, I don't know if it's wise or not until you tell me what kind of investment it is. Besides, it's my money, not our money. But how much money do you need exactly? It's only $100,000. That's nothing. I know a well-off girl like you can easily afford it. Just send me $50,000 now and the rest by the end of the month. See, I'm not asking for much. I think it's a fair price for such a promising investment. I'm sure we'll make a killing in just a short amount of time. What? A hundred thousand dollars? Are you out of your mind? Why do you need that much money? I'm not in a position to give you that much money, even if I wanted to. Come on. Don't be so stingy with your own father. I know you have that money. You've been working for the past five years. So of course you have saved up that much. Don't try to deny it. I may be old, but I'm not stupid. You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. This is a golden opportunity and we need to act now. The more people who know about it, the less money we'll make. 
Let's get in on the ground floor and make big bucks before it's too late. Where on earth did you get the idea that I have that much money? I'm the only one working in this family, and I have to use my money to pay for our daily expenses. I can't just spend money on a whim, especially when you and Daniel are not contributing anything. Yeah, yeah, it's your duty to take care of the bills. That's why you got a job in the first place, right? So you could bring home money and take care of our family. Don't act like you're a saint for doing what you're supposed to do. Why is it always me who has to take care of everything? Daniel is the big brother, but he doesn't do anything to help around the house. And you, Dad, you're not too old to work. Why don't you get a job and start contributing to the household? I'm sick and tired of being the only one who pulls their weight around here. Really now? Are you actually questioning our roles in this family? We are men. So of course we take on the bigger responsibilities. Daniel watches over the house and protects us from any danger, while I go out and sniff out every opportunity to make money. It's not like we're just sitting around doing nothing. We're working hard to provide for our family. You are a girl. So of course you can only find yourself some boring job at an office and earn a meager salary. Daniel and I don't even complain about how little you earn a month, so you should be thanking us for that. I mean, seriously? Watch over the house? That's it? I can do that in my sleep. If that's what you call a big responsibility, then I'll gladly take it on my shoulders and let Daniel work out our family's financial situation instead. For the record, Daniel does nothing but lay around the house all day, sleeping, eating, and surfing the internet. He doesn't bother to watch over the house, as you said. And you, you keep talking about your investments, but they're just a sham. You lost over $10,000 the last time you invested in a bogus company. So what makes you think you know what you're doing now? Why are you so condescending to me and your own brother? Just because you have a job doesn't mean you're better than us. You're just a high school graduate, while your brother finished college. So stop acting like you're so high and mighty. You're not above anyone. Why are you bringing this up? It's not like I had a choice. I couldn't advance to college because I didn't have the money. My grades were fine, but no one would pay for my tuition and entrance fees. And I couldn't get a student loan because I couldn't find a co-signer. On the other hand, you were the one who urged me to get a job and pay for the bills in our household. I didn't have time to attend college because I was working non-stop to support this family. And now you're looking down on me because I'm a high school graduate? How could you forget all of that so quickly? Oh, please. As if going to college would have made a difference. You don't have the brains to finish it, unlike your brother. That's why I made you get a job, so you could finally be useful for once. And why are you making such a big deal about your salary? It's basically pocket change, so don't get so big-headed. If you want to brag about making lots of money, well, here's your chance to prove it. Send me $100,000 to help me with my investment. Then, you can show everyone how much of a big shot you are. And who knows, maybe your brother and I will even start to respect you. Come on, are you just all talk or are you actually worth something? Why do you keep asking me for money for your ridiculous investment? I already told you I'm not giving you a penny. Stop being so demanding. Fine. You think you're so great, huh? Well, I'll show you who is actually great. I'm going to find my own way to fund my investment without your help. And when I'm rich, don't you dare come crawling back to me begging for money. Ella, where are you? I need you to come home ASAP. I just found out something terrible and it's completely unacceptable. I can't deal with this on my own. What? What's wrong? I'm not currently at home, so you might want to wait until I get back from work. No! I need you here now, now, now. I can't live with this. I can't believe this just happened to me. I'm so pissed right now, I could scream. I feel like punching a wall or throwing something across the room. I'm so frustrated and annoyed. I just want to destroy something. Can you just calm down and tell me what happened? Jeez, you're making it seem like it's the end of the world or something. It's even worse than that. My PS5 and laptop have disappeared. Do you happen to know where they are? 
I seriously don't know. Why do you ask me that? Don't lie to me. You're the one who usually cleans my room, so you know where my PS5 and laptop are. Did you steal them and sell them for money? Tell me right now, you filthy thief. I'm literally boiling with rage right now. I already told you that I don't know where they are. Why are you accusing me of stealing now? That doesn't make any sense at all. If you didn't steal my PS5 and laptop, then who did? There are only three people living in this house. Me, you, and dad. If it's not you, then who else has the motive to steal from me? You're the only one who knew where they were. You're the only one who had the opportunity to steal them. And you're the only one who would benefit from stealing them. Just admit it. If you do that, I won't tell dad that you're a thief. You just have to buy me a new laptop and a PS5. Simple as that. Why are you insisting that I'm the one who took them from you? Oh, please. Unlike you, who's too busy being a freeloader day in and day out, I have a job myself and I use the money I earn to buy my own things. I wouldn't bother stealing your PS5 and laptop. I have standards. They were my gifts to you for your birthday. So you should be more grateful instead of calling me a thief and accusing me of stealing. What? What did I hear just now? You called me a freeloader? What gives you the right to call me that, you freak? Don't force me to tell dad about this, or else he'll make your life a living hell. Yeah, tell that to dad. And ask him if he was the one who stole your stuff too. If anyone in this household has a clear motive to steal from you, it's only dad. You know he's currently in urgent need of money to finance his ludicrous investment, right? What? Are you seriously accusing dad of stealing now? What a cunning and sly woman you are. Ha! Got you. I just captured our conversation. I can't wait to show dad what you've been saying about him. Whatever. You're crazy. I'm not going to waste any more of my time trying to reason with you because you're clearly not going to listen to anything I say. Good way of thinking. By the way, make sure to pick up a box of ice cream for me when you come home from work. I want chocolate, but vanilla will do. Seriously? After accusing me of stealing and insulting me, you have the nerve to ask me to buy you ice cream? Do you have any shame? Why don't you get off your lazy ass and go buy it yourself? The convenience store is right down the street. What? Are you kidding me? You want me to go outside in this heat? I'm melting in here with the AC on full blast. If I step one foot outside, I'll be a puddle on the sidewalk. Don't forget that I'm dad's favorite child. If anything bad happens to me, dad will be furious. And you don't want to be on the receiving end of his wrath, do you? Don't be such a drama king. It's not even that hot outside. You're acting like a snowflake that could melt any time under the sun. Are you gonna buy me that ice cream or not? If you don't, then stop mocking me, weirdo. No wonder you're still hopelessly single all these years. You're too much of a freak for your own good. And don't think I'm gonna let you get away with calling me a freeloader and calling dad a thief. Oh, you're in for a treat, Ella. A real treat, and it's going to cost you dearly. Ella! Where are you? I need you to come home right now. Stop being a child and sulking like that. You need to get back to work and start earning money for me. You're being irresponsible and it's making me look bad. Come home now. Stop blowing up my phone and asking me where I am when you very clearly know the answer. You hit me with a scalding hot frying pan and now I'm in the hospital. Do you think that's something that a father should do to his own daughter? In fact, do you think it's something that anyone should do to anyone? What you did was utterly inhumane and cruel. You could have seriously injured me. And if I hadn't worn a thicker shirt, I might not be here texting you. You left me no choice but to do that. You called your brother a freeloader and you accused me of being a thief. When I confronted you about your lies, you denied everything and talked back to me like an uneducated woman. I brought you up to be a well-behaved and obedient child. But look at what you've become, a complete savage. That's why I had to resort to a stronger measure, to hit you with the nearest thing I got my hands on, which was a hot frying pan. A little discipline is necessary to keep you in line. You need to be taught things the hard way, even if it means experiencing pain. You're a danger to everyone around you. You're completely insane if you think it's okay to use violence to convey how you feel. And what's even worse is that you did this to your own daughter. I don't care if you're my father or not. 
You need to pay for the emotional and physical pain you've inflicted on me. Oh, boo-hoo. Emotional and physical pain? I didn't even hit you that hard. Just how fragile are you? What is wrong with you? I didn't raise you to be a snowflake and a drama queen. Do you think you're the mistress of this household or what? Stop playing the victim. All I did was give you a lesson on life. I have all the rights in the world to do that because I'm your dad. What's so wrong with a father teaching his daughter how to behave in the right manner? You think you can just brush it under the rug like it's nothing? Well, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. You can't disguise violence as a lesson on life and get away with it. What you did to me was a crime, and it will never be forgiven. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to make you regret what you did to me for the rest of your life. What's with your attitude? You're really starting to piss me off. Do I need to give you another lesson on who's boss around here? To me, you're nothing but a servant, a tool that I can use to make money. So stop thinking that you're some kind of big deal because you're not. If you don't start knowing your place, I'll have to hit you again with a hot frying pan. And this time, it's going to be even harder. Oh yeah? You know what? You won't have any more chances to hit me with anything anymore because I'm out. I'm leaving and I'll never come back. You and Daniel can take care of yourselves from now on. I'm not going to be there to bail you out of your messes anymore. You can do whatever you want, but I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm the one who earns all the money in our house, so I'm pretty curious to see what you and my brother will do to survive once I'm out of the picture. Now you're being rebellious, are you? Look at you, being so big-headed and all just because you earn some pocket money. Let me knock some sense into your head. Having a job doesn't make you superior to anyone. Don't make it seem like it's some kind of striking achievement. You want to leave? Fine, if that's what you want, then get back here, pack your things, and leave. Make sure to come home quickly, or else I'll throw everything out in the street. Oh, don't worry. I already called the movers. They'll be here any minute to pack up my things and take me away from this lovely little family of freeloaders and lunatics. I'm sure I'll be much happier living on my own, where I don't have to worry about being dragged down by your dead weight. Oh yeah? Then hurry up and move out of my house. We no longer have a place for you here. Get lost, disappear completely, or die alone in the streets for all I care. I'm warning you, once you've moved out, you're never allowed to come back. Don't even think for a split second that you can come crawling back here and ask for my help after you've treated your own father and brother like trash. Treated you like trash? I'm sorry. You're the one who made me hospitalized in the first place, remember? You and Daniel are both egotistical, jobless people who deserve to be tossed in the gutter where you belong. I plan to move out of the house and get away from this dysfunctional family a long time ago. And now that I've set some money aside, I'll find a new place for myself and enjoy living on my own. Fine. Do what the hell you want. See how long you can survive without me or your brother. Oh, I'm sure it won't take you more than a couple of days to realize how incompetent you are and come crawling back here on your hands and knees begging for my forgiveness. Bwahahaha! <laughs> Ella, where are you? It's been two days since you stormed out of here like a petulant child. I didn't even know you were capable of being such a grouch. Come back here right now and stop sulking. I'm only going to say this once, so don't make me repeat myself. Oh, really? I thought you told me to get lost and never come back. And now you're texting me and asking me to come back? Looks like someone bit off more than they can chew and is now struggling to keep their head above water. <laughs> What's gotten into you? You threw a tantrum like a child and moved out of the house. Daniel and I were worried sick about you, and you didn't even bother to call or text. I thought you would come back in a few hours, but it's been two days. Do you think I'm a joke to you? Do you think you can treat me like dirt and then get away with it? I'm your freaking father, you idiot. Oh, for heaven's sake. At least have some respect for the person who contributed to bring you to life. Do you think you can just waltz around and act like a boss just because your mother gave birth to you? 
You wouldn't even be here if it weren't for my sperm, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I need to say thank you to the person who has done nothing but treat me like trash? What have you ever done for me that wasn't for your own benefit? You've only ever exploited me for money and abused me. What kind of person does that? Just because you're my father doesn't mean you have the right to insult me or even hit me. I'm not your servant nor your punching bag. In reality, I stopped considering you my father a long time ago. In my eyes, you're nothing but a sperm donor and no more than that. What? A sperm donor? Watch your mouth, you filthy brat. I don't have time for idle chit chat. Come home now and pay for the bills. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Do you think they're gonna pay for themselves? Or do you think they're gonna just magically disappear overnight? You're still my daughter, and that means you're entitled to take care of your own family. Oh, you want me to come home now? How funny. Last time I checked, you were so eager to kick me out of the house. But now you're begging me to come back? What's with the sudden change of heart? I guess someone finally realized how important I am to the family, huh? Seriously, why should I come back to a house where I'm not wanted? I'm the one who puts food on the table and pays for the bills, including the electricity bill so that your son can lock himself up in his room with the AC turned on all day. I thought you and Daniel would at least show some gratitude for my hard work, but instead you took me for granted. You bit the hand that fed you. Are you being possessed by a demon or something? Who do you think you are to talk to your own father like that, you barbarian? Taking care of your family is common sense. Even a kid knows that. Stop being such a whiner and get back here immediately. If you're a good daughter, you should do as your father tells you to. No questions asked. And what if I say no? What are you going to do about that then? I can't believe how stupid you are. It's just like I've been talking to a brick wall this whole time. I say, get back home now. I didn't raise a retarded daughter. Stop ignoring me or disobeying my command. <sighs> You're the one who's being stupid here. You should have known that there's a limit to how much of your nonsense I would tolerate. Do you think I'm going to keep quiet forever like an obedient slave and let you insult me? Do you think I'm going to keep enabling your and your son's lazy lifestyles? Answer me, you miserable parasite. What? Now you're calling your own father a parasite. This has just gone too far, Ella. You need to stop acting like a complete sociopath. Just come back home and talk to me face to face. Stop hiding yourself like a coward. And why are you in such a dire need to convince me to get back home? Is there something that you haven't told me yet? Just tell me the truth, Luke. No need to hide, because I'll find out about it sooner or later. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. Stop wild guessing. Oh, I don't even need you to tell me about it because I've already figured it out myself. The other day, I stopped by our house and overheard you talking with some thugs. They said that you owe them a huge amount of money for your bad investment. How much is that? If I remember correctly, it's 300000 for both interest and principal, correct? Don't tell me that you were stupid enough to borrow money from the loan sharks. What gives you the right to eavesdrop on me like that, you sneaky woman? Yeah, I borrowed money from the loan sharks, so what? It was for a good reason. I wanted to invest and make extra money for our family. What's so wrong with that? If I'm not mistaken, you're also the one who stole Daniel's PS5 and laptop, right? Did you sell them for money? Well, yeah. I borrowed them from Daniel and sold them. I thought I would have bought him new ones once I've earned more income from my investment. But things just didn't go as planned. And what did you invest in? Tell me. If you're honest with me, I'll consider lending you some of my money to pay for your loan. Really? Thank you. That would be really nice of you. Well, the thing is, I invested in a new type of cryptocurrency. I know it was risky, but they promised an exceptionally high interest, and I couldn't say no to that. I mean, it would have made us millionaires in just one day, but then... What? 
Are you seriously kidding me? Cryptocurrency? You don't even know how to use a computer, and you have no knowledge of finance. What on earth made you think that's a good idea? I didn't buy and sell the cryptocurrency myself. My friend came up with the idea and offered to become my financial advisor. I trusted him and gave him the money I borrowed from the loan sharks to invest for me. Only a week later, he told me that it was a scam coin and he lost all the money I sent him. I tried to reach out to him, but he was nowhere to be found. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm the victim here, not the perpetrator. Goodness gracious. You're almost in your 60s, not a three-year-old kid. How could you be so irresponsible and lose all of your money like that? What were you thinking? You borrowed a huge amount of money from dangerous criminals as loan sharks to invest in something you don't know anything about. And you should have known better than to invest in crypto coins. But that's what it's like to be an investor, isn't it? You win some and you lose some. Don't just blame me for my minor mistake. I'm still a successful investor and I'm gonna earn a fortune in the future. This is just a minor inconvenience on my path to becoming a millionaire. I'll make it back tenfold in no time. In fact, I'm gonna be so rich that I'll buy Forbes magazine and put myself on the cover. Just you wait and see. <sighs> Are you still dreaming about getting rich quick? Wake up and smell the coffee. Money doesn't fall from the sky, and you're not going to get rich overnight. It takes hard work, dedication, and lots of luck to become wealthy. So stop wasting your time with pipe dreams while you should have been working instead. Well, now you're reaping what you've sown. Have fun dealing with all those debts and troubles. I'm fleeing. Wait, hold on, hold on. You promised me that if I told you the truth, you would lend me some money, right? Give me the money you owe me. Give me $30,000 now. How dare you go back on your own words like that? It's not fair at all. Er, no. I was just joking with you. I never had the intention of lending you any money in the first place. Like I said before, you're on your own. Don't expect me to do anything for you anymore. What? How dare you play me like that? I am your father for crying out loud. It's outrageous what you did to me. You scoundrel. You'll have to pay dearly for your actions. To think about it, you're also at fault for enormous debt. In fact, it's all your fault. If you had just lent me $100,000 when I asked, I wouldn't have been forced to resort to borrowing from dangerous loan sharks. You need to face the consequences and take full responsibility for the mess you've created in my life. Oh, seriously? Now you're trying to put the blame on me for your own stupidity? How convenient. I've already made it clear that you should be responsible for your own debts. I've moved on to a new place, and I'm loving my life without you or Daniel dragging me down. Good luck dealing with your own mess. And by the way, get ready to face the consequences because I'm filing an assault charge against you. You'll be paying me for the pain, suffering, and medical bills you caused. Don't think I've forgotten the agony when you viciously attacked me with that scalding hot frying pan. I'll just sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy watching your miserable face during the trial. What? A soul charge? No! As if my life wasn't miserable enough already? And to think, you, my dear daughter, would stoop so low as to treat your own father like this. Unbelievable. And let's j get one thing straight. I didn't even hit you that hard. Can't you cut me some slack just this once? I promise I'll change for the better. I promise I'll become a good father for you. Nope, it's already too late for an apology. Don't think I can't see through your empty promises about changing for the better and becoming a good father. A person like you can never change. Goodbye. Luke, my dad, was convicted of assault and sentenced to prison. Upon his release, he was burdened with yet another problem, an overwhelming amount of debt that was suffocating him. With no viable alternatives, he was compelled to sell his house in order to settle his debts. Subsequently, 
My dad and Daniel found themselves with nowhere else to turn and were compelled to seek refuge in a homeless shelter. Unfortunately, their time there was marred by relentless bullying, the callous theft of their possessions, and even physical assaults. I am flourishing without the presence of my dad and brother in my life. I have achieved a promotion to a prestigious position and now enjoy a substantial income. From this point forward, I am determined to live solely for myself, dedicating my efforts to cultivating a successful career and forging a brighter future.